Hello, everyone. Welcome to Meetings in a Changed World. My name is Jeff Canham, and I'm one of the partners at Prestige Global Meeting Source. Tonight, we are meeting and mingling in eight cities across North America. We're super excited to bring people together and show you you can do meetings safely and creatively. You look over my shoulder, and our, uh, our tables are socially distanced. And I'm wearing a mask right now because I'm a little close to the camera operator. But we are super excited. We're ready to travel. We're ready to have meetings. A huge thank you to Lowe's Hotels for partnering with Prestige on this event. We chose Lowe's for a number of different reasons. One, if you look at a map geographically, they have great distribution across North America. So you can um, hit a lot of markets with a drive market. They have some new properties. Our friends in St. Louis, you'll hear tonight, a brand new hotel, brand new hotel in Kansas City. So thank you Lowe's um, for partnering with us on this event. We're gonna kick off this event with a, well, it's Friday and it's happy hour time. So we thought it would be make a lot of sense to have a happy hour. Um, so we're gonna kick a little happy hour off. I'm gonna throw it over to my friend, Christopher McLaurin at the Lowe's Montana Canyon. And he's gonna explain a little contest that we're gonna to have tonight. Thanks. Hello everybody and welcome to the Hub and Spoke event. My name is Chris McLaren, phoning in from the Lowe's Ventana Canyon Resort in Tucson, Arizona. I am so excited and uh, honored to go ahead and introduce this evening's activity. My colleagues, which are in your presence, have gone ahead and created a beverage, uh, which is indicative of the destination in which their hotels reside. The hard part will be left up to you, and that's to create a name for this beverage. At the end of the evening, a judge will go ahead and select the destination that has created the most creative name, and you will have bragging rights moving forward. Have so much fun. Thank you for including us and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I'm gonna add a couple more rules to the con, well, first I'm gonna take the mask off because I'm more than six feet away. Um, the whole social distancing thing, my partner Ron is good with social distancing. He would prefer that I'd be six states away, but six feet would probably work. But tonight, um, I would like to add a couple more rules to the contest. You know, you're gonna rename it, you're gonna rebrand that drink, um, that signature drink to something that reflects 2020. I'm only gonna ask that you don't use the words pivot, unprecedented, no pivot Pomonas, no unprecedented ultimate martinis, but a GD grasshopper will work. So with that, I'm gonna start checking in with some of the hotels. I'd like to introduce here, Joe Matta uh, with the Lowe's here in Rosemont. Appreciate it. We are just so excited to be able to Thank Prestige and PSAV uh, for being able to partner with us on this. Here at Lowe's O'Hare, we are making a Wrigley Rita, um, our city style of a margarita here in Chicago. So that is what we are working on rebranding tonight. A quick few details or updates about our hotel while we are all here. So just in 2019, we finished a $20 million guest room and meeting space renovation. Um, I think the product is just absolutely phenomenal, and we are excited to host additional groups and looking forward. Our area, we are within walking distance to the Chicago Fashion Outlets, very close by. Always a fun trip when you're stopping by here. We're also extreme, extremely close to the Parkway Bank Park, which has tons of bars, restaurants, activities, a lot of social events that can happen over there as well. One other thing to add um, that makes our destination unique and easy to get to is we do have a complimentary shuttle here at Lowe's O'Hare. Runs every 15 minutes um, and each shuttle bus fits 15 people, which is great for groups that are flying in uh, and out, not having to worry about that transportation feature when they're coming to the O'Hare market. So once again, thanks so much uh, for being here. We're excited. And I wanna head over to Mary Reed at the Lowe's Chicago downtown to see what they are stirring up. I'm your Lowe's national sales person that works closely with the Prestige team. Joining me this evening is the regional director of sales and marketing, Sarah Oppel. And our cocktail we're gonna be rebranding this evening is a Chicago cocktail. So we're excited, we've got a lot of creative juices flowing. Could have been the happy hour beforehand, but that's what we're working with. 
Um, Lowe's Chicago is conveniently located just a few blocks off of Michigan Avenue where all the great shopping takes place, in addition to Navy Pier just a couple blocks away, and the museums. We're going to kick it over to Jason at Lowe's Minneapolis. Right. Um, here at Lowe's Minneapolis, we've been fortunate enough to host several events throughout the summer. Um, it's been great for us. We've really had the safety and well-being of our guests and our team members kind of front of mind. Um, if you've never been to Lowe's Minneapolis, we are located in the heart of downtown, um, right next to all the major sports venues, different entertainment venues. So we really are in probably the best place in downtown Minneapolis. Uh, so now let's kick it over to Robin in St. Louis. Okay, technical glitches, I love them. Um, I won't say pivot, but that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try this again. Um, so I'm coming to you from Live by Lowe's in St. Louis. The cocktail that we are doing is the Bird on the Horizon. Um, what I love about this is it's a very bourbon forward drink. So go ahead and drop the ice in your shaker and shake it up. Um, it is really great because of our whiskey room. It's the crown jewel of this property, um, featuring over 400 bottles of whiskeys and um, so your bourbons, your ryes, your scotches, all of that. Uh, but it can't be all drinking. We've got uh, 10,000 square feet of indoor meeting space and we just did a wonderful tour of the 6,000 square feet that we have outside. Um, and so we can't wait to continue to show it off. Now let's head on over to Nashville. Have it up a little bit, all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Here at the Lowe's Vanderbilt, we are going to recreate the old fashioned. Um, you know, just as bourbons and whiskeys have, have long fueled and spirited this city, um, this hotel has been there and really been the mainstay in the meeting, in meeting events industry uh, in Nashville. Um, the longest running four star hotel in Tennessee. Uh, but yeah, I think the, the biggest thing we're proud of is, is being an annual winner of best workplaces. Um, the team is what it's all about. And it starts from a few of the people that we met tonight here, everyone that was on the site visit, 20 years, 28 years, 30 years. Um, that's really what it's all about. Um, we've got over 300 rooms, uh, just over 25,000 square feet of meeting space. Um, and I think our location is, is really, um, uh, as the city's grown, become even more of a benefit for our hotel. Uh, we're just close enough to everything you want to be a part of, but just far enough away that you get to choose what experiences you want. Um, so we're excited to have everybody with us tonight. And we are now going to throw it over to my friend in Philadelphia, Joe Boyle at the Lowe's in Philadelphia. Hey, here we go, Philly! Hopefully we got that, people. But... Good evening, everyone. I'm Ed O'Boyle. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here in the hotel. Welcome to everybody in the room. This is a lot of fun seeing people in a room with us. Um, I also want to say hello to everybody in virtual land, along with Canada. That's where we'll go next. So with that being said, here in Philadelphia tonight, we're creating a drink that I can only ask everybody in the room to please, I beg of you, come up with a short name. Are you ready? We are changing the name of an apple cider Moscow mule. Apple cider Moscow mule, say that 10 times quick. And I'd like to let everyone else know in virtual land, we've had a great site tour. We've been drinking the whole time, having a good time. So we're ready to go. In Philadelphia, just a couple quick hits here. Um, I'm, again, I'm Ed O'Boyle. I've been here for 15 years. You can tell by my white hair. I'm hoping to have it in another 10. Um, the hotel itself is located, we're a 581 room hotel, 47,000 square feet of meeting space. 
Um, it's actually located in what we're very proud of, and that is the historic PSF building. PSFS building. That's the Philadelphia Savings Fund Society built in 1932, a historic building, not only in the city, but across the entire country itself. With that, the hotel is a group hotel. We got amazing people. We're known for our personal and engaging service with our, with our customers and our planners. And because of that, we do over 800 groups a year annually. Um, and, and I can only stress to you, every hotel has the same thing. Our hotel has amazing people. So with that, I am now going to send it up north. You need to turn me up. Going to Canada. Take it away, Canada. Welcome to Canada. Hi, everyone. My name is Felix from Bisha Hotel Toronto. I have a crowd. So happy to see you. Just a little bit about Bisha. So we uh, actually opened in 2017. We are located in the entertainment district here in Toronto. We are your edgy and bold visionary hotel. Sexy, as they are saying right now in the room. Lenny Kravitz designed an entire floor at the hotel. We have two signature restaurants, including <laughs> star, renowned chef, Akira Back, with the most beautiful view of the CN Tower and Roger Center at Coast. If you're looking for a foodie experience, get your emotions in and come stay with us at Bisha. Again, so excited to be here. Um, we are creating the Kiwi Snapshot tonight. It's Kiwi season here in Toronto, so we're ready for it. And can't wait to see what they're going to come up with the name. Now back to Jeff at Chicago O'Hare. Damn, Felix. That was a great jacket. Um, but thank you, Felix, for um, uh, sending it back here to the O'Hare property. I wanted to mention right now that we're going to hear an update from our friends in Kansas City, the brand new Kansas City Lowe's property, in a little bit. They've had a busy week this week, which we're all happy to hear. So they'll come back and they'll give us an update a little bit later. So with that, Joe's kind of worked the room a little bit right now, and he's going to come up and tell us what the new name for the drink. He has the winning name. Oh, she's got So it's impossible for him to tell you. Okay, let me take a look. Oh, she put two now. All right, so that was that was quick. I have a lot of a lot of good names here. Let's see. Let me go with the top three here. I have a the bamboozle. I have a little PG rated here, but I have Mother F twenty twenty. And I got to be honest, my my favorite one here is forget about it, Corona Rita. Yes, and now let's go down to Chicago and see what their names are. Well, thanks, Jeff and Joe. I know you've been waiting anxiously to see what we came up with. A lot of, lot Mary, of thoughts. Have we been waiting patiently? We have, Sarah. <laughs> we certainly have. And we went back and forth. I mean, you know, with a name like the Chicago... I mean, it was hard to come up with anything cute and clever. But Sarah, what were some of the names we came up with? Well, you were explaining to me, Mary, that somebody named John Drury <laughs> created the cocktail, which I thought, well, this is the only drink where I already sound like I've been drinking all night long. So we thought that we had to uh, make that a part of the drink name. So if you're ready, drum roll, please, Mary. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so uh, we went with Drury's in dot, 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 2020 sucks. So we just we, we we went with that right away and thought it was the best drink name. So that that's our that's our choice. That's what we're going with. <laughs> so we are kicking it over to. I don't know who we're is kicking it, is over it to. Minneapolis again? I believe it is Minneapolis. <laughs> Thank Jason, you from the back. Take of the it room. over, Jason. Very well done, Mary and Sarah. Thank you for that. <laughs> 
All right, so we've come up with our top three names for the old fashioned. Um, the first one is Purple Rain, as you may or may not know where Prince is from. Very, very well done. Uh, the next one would have to be the COVID killer, which uh, that one is close to my heart. I like that one. And the third is Here is to Better Days. And the winner is COVID killer. <laughs> All right, let's head it back to uh, Robin in St. Louis. All right, so the folks here are pretty creative. I mean, we had a COVID cough syrup, and we had a Rona Hatton, which I loved. Um, T, they were very similar. Is it 2021 yet, or wake me up when it's 2021, or a dizzy bird? Um, but we went a little more traditional, and our winner is Birds on the Bourbon. And we're going to kick it on over to Nashville. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So I was not preparing my crew um, to have this uh, ready. So uh, I just want to give it up for the Nashville crew for coming up with names so quickly. So um, our old fashioned, um, to make the names make sense, is an old fashioned with some cold brew frothy monkey coffee, which is one of our local flavor partners, along with a little bit of vanilla. So that's what it is. And a ball of ice, more importantly. So we have our lovely, uh, I think the winner might be the frothy balls. And um, that brings in the frothy muckle, monkey muckle into it. Um, we also have a really nice description on the not so, not, wait, not old fashioned, Angela? Old fashioned doesn't work. And at first I was like, well, that's not that creative. But it is because her play into this is Old-fashioned meetings don't long, no longer work, so we're trying to get creative here. We like that. And then third place is going to be the N95 old-fashioned. So, um, all right, that's it. We're going to enjoy this, and now we're going to send it back over to Ed in Philadelphia. Thank you. I have no idea where to start, I have to be honest. We have an amazing amount of, of name changes here. I want everyone to remember that I asked for short names. So I'm just going to share a couple. We have Taste Like Two, Spicy Donkey. I'm just going to pick a couple. I, one of our tables gave me seven names. Don't know how to pick the difference. So we have Appalicious. We have Adults Applesauce. We have The Quarantine. The Quarantine, which meets my criteria. Um, an apple, an apple mule of the day keeps COVID away. The mask up mule. Six and six mule. And I don't know, I asked for shorter, but this is coming in pretty close too. wake me up when it's over. <laughs> so folks, I don't really know where to go, but I think I laid out the original criteria. I think we're all winners in the room. We're having a lot of fun, but I'm going with the quarantine. Oh, that's it. I've made my decision. Now I'm sending it back to Canada. Welcome, welcome to Canada, from Canada. So we had the Kiwi snapshot. We came up with a couple of good names. My group is actually super creative. We have the COVID cure. We have the Bisha Delight. We have the Kiri Corona. We have the Mask Remover and the Mojiti. And the winner tonight of the rebranded of the Kiwi Snapshot is Kiri Corona. Congrats, Dorothy. We're now throwing in the towel now and we'll go back to Jeff Canham in Chicago. Thank you, Felix. Now, those were some crazy cocktails. I kind of like the COVID killer, the frothy, no, no, I mean, I won't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the COVID killer, so that was awesome. Now, I'd like to raise a glass and have a toast, socially distanced, of course. 83 days left in 2020 <laughs> to the future of the meetings industry and the resilience of having face-to-face -face meetings May your families be safe, your employees and teams. Cheers. 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 
Now that we're all refreshed in all the locations, uh, we're going to take a little break. You can get another cocktail, have some more appetizers, and you'll check behind me, um, and we're going to start having dinner shortly. There'll be a clock on the monitor, so have a chance to visit with each other, grab a drink and some appetizers, and then we'll come back and start dinner. Welcome back, everyone. And also welcome Kansas City. We're going to hear their drink update and an update from the hotel a little bit later tonight. And I also wanted to say welcome to all the other planners that are joining us virtually in New York and Washington and Minnesota, California, and a bunch of other states. And thank you very much. Welcome to the event. Uh, a few months ago, when I came up with the harebrained idea, I ran it by a really good friend of mine. And that person is Brigetta Lundergan. And Brigetta Lundergan is one of our GSO's national sales directors with Lowe's Hotels. So with great pleasure, I would like to introduce everybody else to someone who I adore, Brigetta Lundergan. I don't even know where to look. Hi, everyone. Hello from welcome from live from Kansas City. I'm here with uh, Mark Champa and Ashley from our sales department. You can, I don't know if you can see them over here on my right. Um, and Jeff's right. Jeff called me about three weeks ago and says, I have an idea. So now I know when Jeff calls and says, I have an idea, the next three weeks of your life are going to be completely taken up by this fabulous idea. Um, this evening is really a testament to us moving forward um, in our meetings. And how do we stay a part of that? Um, it's, it's crazy times. I know we're all sitting a little socially distanced. It feels a little strange. We have our masks on, masks off. Um, but this is the start of something awesome. And we're really thrilled that everyone is here to experience it with us. Um, Lowe's, as an owner and operator of 26 hotels, our messaging is simple. We want you to feel like we're welcoming you back like family. When you're ready to move forward with your meetings, and I know some have some coming up, some are like, Call me in 21. We understand them. But we will be here and we'll be ready to help you with that. And we also want to make it easy to book Lowe's Hotels. We have a new offer out, which I think is so indicative of the culture of Lowe's Hotels, which is book with confidence. That's no attrition. You can cancel up to 30 days out, and we're giving you $5 back as a rebate. We really, um, we really want your business, and we would do want you to come back when things come back to us. I want to special, say a special thank you to our friends with Prestige. We have with us in Kansas City, we have one of our partners, Chad, here with his lovely wife, Stephanie. We have Carolyn, who brought these amazing customers with her. Thank you, Carolyn. We couldn't do it without partners like this. And I'd be remiss to not to say a special thank you, which Jeff probably has to the earlier group, to Chandra and all the PSAV team who've done such an amazing job. So remember to think Lowe's Hotels. Um, and a little bit more on that, I'd like to introduce you to a short video on Lowe's Hotels with a special welcome from our, followed by a special welcome from our chairman and CEO, Mr. Jonathan Tisch. Thank you all for being here. Nice to see the other cities. Yeah. <laughs> At Lowe's Hotels & Co., my cousins and I have done every single job that you can think of in a hotel. Having grown up in the business, we've been doing this a really, really long time. But this family has never forgotten how it all started. I am Jonathan Tisch, Chairman and CEO of Lowe's Hotels & Co. And after many, many, many decades of working with the organization, I do a little bit of everything. Lowe's Hotels actually started about 75 years ago when my grandparents, Sadie and Al Tisch, decided to leave Brooklyn, New York, where they had been in the garment industry. They saw an ad in a local paper to lease a summer camp called Camp Lincoln Laurel in Lakewood, New Jersey. They looked at each other and said, what do we know about running a summer camp? They knew virtually nothing. And they said, let's try it. And the camp became a success. 
The summer camp business is a great business, but it's only a two month a year business. So they looked for what businesses are similar to that, but year round. And they said, okay, well, a summer camp is really like a hotel, but a hotel is a year round business. The summer camp led to them owning the hotel in the same town, which was called the Laurel in the Pines. And my father, Bob Tisch, and my uncle, Larry Tisch, learned a lot from their parents. All of them were actually learning together. They had never run a summer camp, much less a hotel. But some of the basic values and areas of operations and marketing and sales just came easily to them. My father and uncle had a truly unique partnership, and they started to really focus on the hotel business. The moral compass of what is today Lowe's Hotels & Co. really goes back to the late 40s and early 50s as this organization was being formed. It's very exciting for us today to think about the breadth of Lowe's Hotels & Co. I try to imagine what Sadie and Al Tisch would think. I try to imagine what Bob and Larry Tisch would think. It's a little overwhelming. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for their curiosity or their willingness to take risks. And my cousins and I, who have the responsibility of what they created, really do focus on what's important. The history of this organization has not swerved from minute one of treating people with respect, of providing opportunity, and creating an environment where we exceed the expectations of our guests. And I am incredibly proud of what we've created and will continue to create at Lowe's Hotels & Co. Hey everybody, big welcome from New York City. Thank you to our friends at Prestige Global Meeting Source for using eight of our properties tonight to bring people back to the hotel industry. We really appreciate it. Jeff, thank you so much for that very kind introduction. Your colleagues, Doug and Chad, we also appreciate your hosting some of our clients, some of your clients at our properties around the country and up in Toronto. And Jeff, I have to thank you, particularly for being a member of our customer advisory board. We at Lowe's Hotels greatly appreciate your input. It is always spot on and very helpful to us as we look forward. Also want to thank our GMs and their teams at the eight Lowe's properties that are being utilized tonight. Thank our friends at PSAV for their assistance in making it all look good, sound good, and allowing everybody to understand a moment in time where we are at Lowe's Hotels and what the future of our industry might look like. Obviously, these times have been those that we have never, ever seen before. And what better moment for us at Lowe's Hotels to introduce our brand message welcoming you like family. We all know what it's been like for the past six or seven months to be with family, to ensure that they're safe, they're sound, that our kids are able to go to school, get an education, that we are so caring of each other in our immediate family and in the neighborhoods where we all live and where we at Lowe's Hotels operate our properties. We will get through this as an industry, there are challenges ahead. Nobody knows the timeline. Nobody knows exactly what to expect. But by having a meeting like this tonight, you are taking that first important step to saying, let's start to think about working together and understanding the future. The power partnerships are really important to us at Lowe's Hotels, ensuring that our clients, our customers are safe, are sound, understand our protocols, also ensuring that our team members, they are so vital to what we do as an organization that they are safe and sound as well. And that they come in every day, they make enormous contributions and they've been willing to understand the challenges in the industry as we focus on the future. And of course, the communities where we operate our hotels also vitally important to us. So as we look to the future, as we understand what it means to welcome you like a family, we at Lowe's Hotels 
want to continue to be your partner. We are here for you. We are here to show you what our capabilities are. Some of the hotels that you're meeting at right now are brand new. St. Louis, Kansas City, and we are so proud to have them in addition to the hotels that have been in our portfolio for quite a while. So once again, on behalf of Lowe's Hotels, thank you. Thank you for being our partner. Please stay safe, be well, know that the future is gonna be bright and we're gonna get through it together. Now, as you can see, the two guys who started this company are behind me, my father, Bob, my uncle, Larry, and the history is pretty amazing. And we're gonna give you a little bit of an understanding of why we at Lowe's Hotels are so proud of how we started, how we got to where we are today and the future. Thank you, enjoy your evening, be well, stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Tish, and thank you, Lowe's. Um, they are an industry leader, and in terms of flexibility and vision and working together and the true spirit of partnership, um, thank you so much. Now, we're gonna take a break. Um, the folks here, uh, are we're gonna have dinner tonight uh, for most of us, but our friends in Kansas City, they're gonna be having dessert, which is another benefit of doing hub and spoke meetings where you can produce the different timelines. So enjoy dinner right now, and then we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm not sure if it's that third vodka soda, but I feel like the truth serum kind of came out. I need to like pay homage to the hub and spoke who I stole that idea from. Um, was from a webinar that we had um, watched and there were planners talking about, rather than taking 300 planners to Nashville or 500 people to uh, Orlando, they were looking at making smaller meetings um, where you could socially distance and broadcast that. So that's really where the term hub and spoke came from. And tonight we have Minneapolis, downtown Chicago, Rosemount here at O'Hare, Kansas City, St. Louis, Nashville, Toronto, and Philadelphia. So my dad used to say, if you're gonna walk through a minefield, it's probably best to follow somebody. And we wouldn't be able to do this without the great help and the great partnership and the support of PSAV. Because these cats, they've done it before. They're probably doing 15 of these today. So with that, I would like to introduce Tim Duhigg to talk about PSAV. Thank you. Testing. All right. Thank you, Jeff. And uh, I'm, I'm honored, humbled. Uh, this is like coming back home. I actually, uh, before joining PSAV, I was the associate director of sales on property here. Um, love Brigetta, love Jeff. This, this is the exact type of event that I think is, is what, what this industry needs to bring it back. So if everyone raise your glasses, just cheers to them. I mean, this is fantastic. So, <laughs> all right. Um, but having worked in both, um, Lowe's and other hotel chains, as well as with PSAV, one of the things I remember is when we gave, um, we originally gave kind of the team, the sales team, work from home days. And they would call in and they're on their cracked phone and you're just trying to, trying to get connected. And now I look at how far things are coming with, with virtual and now you can be on Zoom, you could be you know, on, on Teams and all of, these, all of these platforms. And you're actually, even though you're in a virtual place, you're connected with, um, with, with your team at the office who's actually doing that stuff. And now instead of working from home, we're, we're meeting from home, right? So um, go ahead and change that. <laughs> um, so in a bit, I'll briefly talk about our platform called Chime Live. Um, and it's, it's featured on the screen right on the, on the left-hand side. But what I want to focus mostly on is really how we're going to work with our hotel friends and, and customers and to bring back these live meetings in a, in a safe and beneficial way. Um, additionally, I'll talk about ways we can elevate the meetings with remote presenter experiences, give a few case studies that we've already been doing in the hybrid world um, before I wrap it up. Okay, next. Um, so Chime Live, it, it was originally going to be actually a pharma form. We were going to use it as second screen technology. So you just you have your iPad in front of you. Now it's completely web based. Um, solution and what PSAB can also do. We have uh, microsites. We can set up webinars, webcasts, um, and stream your information 
to remote attendees. And what we want to do is give them the same experience. That's, that's the key, right? That the remote experience is the same as the people in, in the room. Um, okay, next. So in order to be successful, one of the things we've created is our Meet Safe program. Um, and it has guidelines with our hotel partners. Um, what, it, what it'll include is the, the meeting design, how the, how the room will be set up, um, the traffic flow. You want to make sure when you're going on bathroom breaks and, and meal breaks that you know where you're supposed to go, um, it, as well as the cleaning requirements um, and enhancing it with technology as well. OK, next. So we've created these three designs. So the one being kind of a, a smaller meeting, um, you'll notice just the social distancing, keeping the presenter in the front, then you have, you'll have your attendees just a little bit apart from each other. Um, that meeting design two, the presenters in their own space, um, and they're broadcasting to the attendees uh, within the same hotel. So I would be in this room, there's other rooms out there, and then what we're doing tonight with design three, it's broadcasting like Jeff's been doing. So Jeff's here in, in this room, he's broadcasting it all. So if, if you have customers, of course, that they have attendees in various regions and it's Lowe's Minneapolis, you know, and they, they, can, all, they can all be in these various locations. Um, and we've already done that to uh, a great degree of success. All right, next. So taking a closer look at this design, now let's say like, like tonight, you got Joe, myself, Jeff, we're all, we're all working now. He's got his lavalier. Uh, Joe and I have our, our separate mics. It's, it's things like that, um, as well as looking at if you're at your tables and you're, you're, everyone would maybe have a push to talk mic. I think um, the key to that is how, how are things being cleaned? How are we moving forward with that? And making sure that all of this equipment, everyone who's using it, um, and we're working together kind of hand in hand with banquets, with housekeeping, with the hotel, with our hotel partners, hand in hand to make sure that, that everything's safe and successful. All right, next. Um, so moving out of those cleaning guidelines. So what our teams have also gone through is to be trained in this meat safe. So every single employee who works for PSAV has been trained um, another additional no, we've also worked with our hotel team. So with, with the Lowe's leadership, working with them to make sure that we're on the right path. How are we doing things? And you notice you, we didn't really mention the common areas. So while we're working with banquets in this room or a common area somewhat, if we have monitors and things out in the, in the general area, um, we're, we're still kind of working hand in hand in crossing paths. So, all right, next. All right, so presentation stages. So if there are presenters who cannot make a show, we have custom built um, these kind of all over the closest one, one in Chicago. Here's in Elmhurst. Um, and a presenter could go there with PSAV ready rooms. There's um, control rooms um, where, our, where our PSAV teams will be there to kind of set up and make everyone feel comfortable. Um, and again, if someone couldn't travel to a certain location and be there live, like we could have had um, Mr. Tish there in, in a presentation stage and he could have had whatever background and, and stuff there. So, all right, next. So a few case studies, you can kind of flip to the next one. So in the, in the middle here, you see Mr. Clean there and he is just making sure that we're on point. Um, and this one was a mid-year sales kickoff. And two things to note with this meeting. Uh, one, the employees in this, in this room felt very safe in their environment. Um, and the other thing is that they felt connected and inspired by the event. Um, and these two things overall made it a great success. So in the next one, um, similar to this one, the remote experience felt connected. And what was cool with this is they had another town hall earlier on, which was entirely virtual and resounding when we got all the surveys and everything back, they preferred the virtual aspect. And I think we could see it here when we're having this, when we're having this hybrid, you're seeing people you haven't seen in a long time and seeing their faces on Zoom, on Teams, and it's great. It's great to connect that way. But when we're connecting live and in person, that's what, that's what this industry has been founded on. That's what this industry is about. So, um, all right, moving back, all right, next one. And the final one, uh, the future of meetings, it might not be uh, just like the Star Wars version, although I do really like how they're somewhat socially distanced there. That was kind of cool. Uh, but this, this uh, George Orwell uh, quote from 1984, that we shall meet in the place where there is no darkness. I thought that that was kind of cool because we've all been in this place somewhat of darkness, right? And I think by, again, doing things like Jeff and, and Brigetta and 
all of our teams are kind of doing to be forward thinking. We'll get to that place of light again. So thank you, everyone. Oops, Tim, I think you have my notes too. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, maybe not. Oh, I guess I have them here. How about that? Jeez. I know. So sorry, Tim. Um, Thank you to PSAV, and again, these guys know what they're doing. But before I move on to that, um, there's somebody sitting in a control room that was absolutely amazing, and that is Chandra. Oh, God, I'm going to screw up her last name. Formaggio. Thank you, Chandra. She actually met with us, um, and, and, and when you're looking at doing a hybrid meeting, you're going to have a wonderful um, producer, and they're going to be asking you questions that you don't even know that it could be an issue. So with that, I honestly um, want to say thank you to Chandra, and let's all give a big old applause. Now, moving on, at Prestige, we would like to show you ways that you can be creative and still meet, and, these in, and still meet in these interesting times. I'd like to throw it to one of my business partners, who's down in Nashville, Doug Peterson, and he's going to give you a little update about Prestige. Doug, take it away. <laughs> we, we get the Audience Participation Award here in Nashville, I tell you. Woo! Come on, come on. Well, thanks, Jeff, and thanks, Lowe's, thanks, PSAV, for making an event like this possible. Uh, it's, it's an exciting time for all of us to be in this room together. It's been fun to watch the networking that's been happening with all of us. Um, but I will say this is a new way of meeting, but the old way of meeting isn't gone forever, you know, God forbid. But this is a great bridge for us as an industry to get to those future days of recovery that we're all longing for. Um, and I know there'll be silver linings from this season. We're going to have different ways and approaches to meetings that we wouldn't have done before that we'll do now that will be helpful to all of us. So. I'm trying to look at the silver linings that this time will bring us. So the question tonight really is who is Prestige? Um, you know, who are we as a company? How do we help the meeting and incentive planning community? Uh, and many of you know us uh, in this room and across the nation in North America, uh, and we're thankful for those planners that are working with us today. But we want to just give you a brief overview of our services for those of you that are less familiar with how we can help. Um, so let's look at Prestige by the numbers. And I think numbers tell a big story, and we try to simplify it for people. But 34 years of history, um, starting with me back in 1986, to see what we've become today with you know, over 75 team members in 45 locations around North America is kind of an awe-inspiring thought for us personally as owners of this company. Today, we support 376 different end-user client organizations. Many corporate, many association, across all industry sectors, you could say that Prestige supports everything from a 20,000 person user group conference to a 20 couple higher end incentive that may go to the Maldives and kind of everything in between. So great diversity of product, great diversity of experience that we bring to our customers that we support. And I would say, you know, 45 collaborative sales partners, kind of a key idea. One thing with Prestige is that we bring people into a local region so they support a regional backyard of meeting planner customers. You have more high touch with our people. But then we bring what we call the we of Prestige around those partners. So they have partner support. They have administration support with account management. Um, they have all of our team uh, around the country providing ideas, thoughts, and best practices for the meetings that they're operating on behalf of their customers. So essentially, by connecting with your person, you're getting the benefit of that we of prestige and those collective relationships that we enjoy. $225 million in purchasing last year. So to, to know that we have enough volume to be touching all the different brands, so many different uh, aspects of the industry out there, but also the, the relationships that we've developed in these sectors. So people know prestige, they like working with us, and we feel like that dual leverage of both um, spend as well as the relationship that we have with these different brands are helpful to you as our customers. So I would say the next slide, um, the who we are and the how we do business has always been a key focus for us as we serve you, our meeting planner clients, and supporting our industry partners at large. We are a company who elevates people and relationships 
as we work diligently to create successful outcomes for our clients with the strong belief that win-win needs to always be the goal. And I think our partners will all attest to that. Um, and how do we do that? Well, through a core focus and, and through undergirding core values. And I think the idea of meaningful strategic relationships, as Jeff and I as partners in the past have said, it's building vibrant business community with our industry partners, with our meeting planners. That's really what we're all about. But it starts with relationships. You know, our first core value is relationships matter because people matter. It's just such a key and fundamental idea. And that our team wants to elevate the room. We wanna bring life and a smile into the spaces that we serve and support. It's the ethos and the culture of prestige that makes us what we are. And as we recruit and bring people into our company, it's fine people that, that elevate that room in the same way. But also this concept of team focus. You know, when you have a sales partner in a market, they're not there by themselves. They have our collaborative team around them providing services and support to them to help them create success for you in that local geographic market. And certainly our goal to create value, you know, through basically concession value um, enhancements, uh, rate negotiations, risk mitigation, um, both tangible and intangible savings for the contracting work that we do, but also just the way we do business creates an added value, I think, to the, to the business that we're involved in with both planner and supplier. And just a group of people who want to get things done. We have a performance-driven culture that really want to work hard on your behalf. <clears throat> So just a brief breakdown of our services. You could look at us in two lanes. The left side is really the sourcing services that are free of charge to our planners, where we operate as a distribution partner on behalf of a wide variety of industry partners, hotels and resorts, um, brand families, uh, DMC networks, uh, virtual partners, uh, meetings escrow partners, VAT Reclaim. I mean, we've built an arsenal of suppliers that we can bring to bear on behalf of you as our client. And these services are at no cost to you as we're, we're fee paid by the vendor community that we support. But we also acquired a full service event management company that was a 35 year old woman owned company in Minneapolis in 2019. That gave us a very experienced meeting and event team to come alongside clients that need more full service approach to their programs. And in, these, uh, in this side of the ledger, it's really a scope of work kind of a, of a fee-based project. So you would give us a scope of work, we would bid that project. It could be one single item, it could be a number of items. It just depends on you, know, you as a customer and what you need from us. You can see everything from program design, pre-planning, registration, air ticketing, logistics operations, housing, uh, and on and on. It's, and it's becoming even more vast with, with the different things that are coming at it these days. But to see now that Prestige is a total meeting and event solution for the meeting industry and for you as meeting planner clients. And so now we are basically trying to move into these new realms and come up with innovative new ways to deal with the challenges we're facing as organizations. Individual incentives is one thing we've just created with a certificate program, uh, all the way to a trip of a lifetime program that you can manage as individual programs with a high level concierge service. Uh, in addition to that, you know, there can be adaptations to that where we can maybe pick four destinations and we build something around that to try to get over a time when groups aren't traveling, we have still a high end incentive offering. But virtual, as we're seeing here, um, everything from professionalizing a simple Zoom meeting to a very complex global program with breakouts, virtual trade show, networking, and so on. Hybrid, which is what we're seeing here today, integrating the best of a live meeting along with a virtual extension. And it also has that, the benefit of the enduring materials, all this content's being recorded. And so that's one of the silver linings of this season. I think if we do hybrid future, it's gonna give us some tools in our live events that we maybe didn't have before. So that, that could be a positive. And of course the hub and spoke that you guys are all living with us. Uh, we did the hub and spoke because we wanted to see the regional idea of getting people more in a drive market location, people aren't flying across the country, we're still connecting with each other in a live environment, seeing a broader audience, but then from a contracting standpoint, you have one single partner, i.e. Lowe's, and with eight locations, and it makes the contracting simpler, there's some economies of scale. So we think the hub and spoke's a great idea, and something that can hopefully get you all thinking with your organizations how you can promote similar strategies. And we have a couple of clients in our network right now that are looking at um, pretty broad um, ideas in the hub and spoke platform. So 
that's kind of a good basic conclusion. Um, I would say this, as the we of prestige, we are ready to serve each of you here tonight and help you maximize your opportunities with the meetings and incentives as we move in to a bright future together. So thanks for being here, all of you, and thanks again to all of our amazing sponsors. And back to you, Jeffrey. Yeah. Woo! Thanks, Doug. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure what was better. The guitars on the stage, thanks to Shane in Nashville, or Felix's hot jacket. But we'll just move on. We have another presentation um, tonight, and gifting and recognition is so important um, and uh, motivating and, and thanking employees. And so with that, I would like to introduce our wonderful partner, Dave Stone with Global Gifting, who's super smart, super creative, and he has killer customer service. So I'm gonna turn it over to Dave Stone. Hi, and thank you for the opportunity to be here today. We're really excited to be visiting with you virtually and kind of rekindling uh, an old partnership. I'm Dave Stone, I'm with Global Gifting, and today I'm gonna to introduce you to one of our newest and most fun partners, um, a new brand in this space, and I'll pass it over to Vicki Hohen and let her introduce her company. Hi, Vicki. Hey, Dave. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here today and welcome you to the world of Joe Malone. Let me get that up there. So welcome to the world of Joe Malone. Here we are a tri um, we are a tri lifestyle brand where with home fragrance and Bath and Body. And to get you a little bit excited about who we are, if you haven't heard of us before, I'm gonna share a little video. This takes place in our townhouse in London where our leadership sits for our global team. And you'll see in every one of our rooms, we have scented it with our, what we call our heroes, our number one sellers. And every single one of these animals are real, even down to the little bumblebee that you'll see in a second. townhouse in London. Super whimsical, super detailed. That is who Joe Malone is. And when we look into how our kid, what we can do for gifting capabilities, I think you'll notice that there are a couple of things that can make this very high level, take your events to the next level and things that people have never seen before. <laughs> So the number one thing, which, you know, Dave and I have worked in this industry together and we haven't really seen this come across the table, but sense memory is really important. Just like when you think about chocolate chip cookies and, you know, your favorite scent, it just reminds you of home or the office, or perhaps it was your grandma's house. You just remember that. And that's what I want, where I want to take Joe. So it's keeping your company top of mind and presenting them with a scent that they will remember every time they use it. Whether it's our home candle, which is number two in all US distributors, 
our number one diffusers across the US. We are the fastest growing brand in Asia. Um, we are number one in all the retailers come with our fragrance as far as Bloomingdale's, Bergdorf, Nordstrom's. So we are a brand that's very well known in the high-end luxury business. <clears throat> and here I've listed out actually just quickly our, our most iconic scents, which you saw in the video, which was our wood sage and sea salt right when you walk in the door, our lime basil and mandarin, just a couple of little fun things that I know everyone will love. So when I said taking to the next level, these are one of the gifting capabilities. Aside from gifting, just sending a gift, like you'll have a little token to take home yourself. This would be taking your event to the next level. Scenting the evening, which we would call scented supper, with that lime, basil, and mandarin, where you could have, you can go to the extent of having that decoration all around your event and scenting it with the diffusers and candles around the dinner table and letting them leave with that scent for the evening that they will always remember who they received at that event. Yeah, so, so these are some of the things you and I have obviously talked about, which mm -hmm. would be, you know, if you're taking your top performers on an incentive trip and your welcome dinner or reception had that scented concept, and then those guests are taking home that scent in either a fragrance or a candle or a diffuser. Obviously, then they're every time they use that product, they're reminded of that of that amazing trip that their company took them on to the Bahamas or whatever the location is. So I think that is really a fun concept as I think about it in terms of this trip really extending beyond the two or three or four days you're truly on site. They get that that lasting memory. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I'm excited to work with Dave and have him help execute these programs. And again, it's not only from virtual gift experiences to on-site gift experiences to hotel amenities, um, you know, having amenities kits that you can use during the time of your stay. Joe Malone is known for their iconic gift box. So that is one of our tokens of who we are. Um, it doesn't matter what comes in the box. People are just excited the second they see it. So a dropship gift is, is great as well. But I thought I'd leave you with some lifestyle images of our home and office and relaxation and self-care. While this is so important during this time that having a focus on home and self-care, I, I would be happy to work with Dave and all of you in um, you know exciting people with this new product into the corporate gifting industry. So thank you for letting me be here. Yeah. Thanks, Vicki, for sharing that with us. Um, and yeah, thank you to Prestige for letting us um, jump in virtually and present to you guys. <clears throat> We're sorry that we couldn't be there in person. Uh, a little bit difficult to be in eight locations at once, but I think you guys are all going to be excited as the people in your various hotels are going to start distributing uh, a gift. Compliments of Vicki and Joe Malone. So thanks again, you guys, and we'll thank see you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Dave and Vicki. Um, I kind of want that Airedale uh, in the video. And I wasn't sure if I had a fly in my beard or was it a bee, but now I'm like, oh, getting this figured out here. But we're almost to the end of our presentations tonight. And I wanted to say, um, bring up um, our friend and our host here, uh, Joe Matta. And he's going to give um, an update. We're going to go to the different cities. And then a little bit later, we're going to hear from our friends in Kansas City. Thanks. Joe? Thank you, Jeff. Now, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all the attendees out there that came and uh, made this event what it was tonight uh, to experience something like this. Thankful for all of our partners uh, that came together and made this event uh, the night it was. So I'm going to throw it downtown to Mary Reed. Well, thank you, Joe. Sarah and I would like to thank everybody for being here. Wait, Be wait, is that what we're doing? Yes. I think, well, I think we are thanking people, right? No? I'm just waiting for you. Are we supposed to say thank you? We I'm are really supposed sure. to say thank you. Oh, it is? That's we the are. time? We're oh, great. Oh, we're on. I'm sorry. We're being oh. here. We're oh. live. <laughs> Sarah, turn your mic on, for God's sakes. <laughs> God, how many times do you have to rehearse this? Come on, work with me, you're people. Always, you're always picking on me. I don't like it. Okay. Anyway, to the point. Thank you, right? Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. 
Thank all of you. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you sincerely from Los Hotels. Thank you so much. And off to Minneapolis, right? Off to Jason. Jason, take it over. Hey, hey. I am not Jason, but I will kick it to Jason afterwards. Mark Tampa in Kansas City. Since we couldn't be there, we just thought we'd share a little bit about this brand new hotel because they said, could you just give us a brief overview of what's new in Kansas City? Well, we have a brand new Lowe's Kansas City Hotel, 800 rooms, 47 suites, 60,000 square feet, and the best clients in the world sitting with us tonight. So that's a, we can socially distance. We learned a lot tonight about uh, prohibition and the history of Kansas City as part of this, but uh, we need you to come here and experience it live. Love Hoban spoke, but there's nothing like being together. So thank you so much tonight. And now off to Jason in Minneapolis. Thanks so much, Mark. Uh, Mary and Sarah, I will be texting you later. That was, uh, that was something else and a, a tough act to follow. But just want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, had a good time. I hope you enjoyed your, uh, your drinks. And um, yeah, please come and see us again soon. And now we'll send it back to Robin in St. Louis. Well, thank you so much. Um, I like to think of our spot as the hub and everyone else's as spokes. But I know we're a spoke, and we're the best spoke we got out there. So thank you very, very much for joining us tonight both in person and you folks out there virtually. Um, come see us in person um, and the team here, come back and see us again. Thank you. And now let's go over to Nashville. Hello, everybody. Yes, eat your heart out, Felix. Coming for you, baby. That's right. This is the prestige jacket. Yeah, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a ball tonight. I feel like I just, it's just uh, getting the itch, right? I think everyone can say that being in a room with other people they don't know, they're not, they don't clean up their socks and underwear on the floor is a great thing. And so uh, I've had a blast getting to know everyone here. It's been great to learn about the other properties uh, and what they're doing and uh, certainly Prestige. Uh, Prestige has been a great partner of our hotel and this company for so long. So anyone out there that's wondering if they should partner I hope that we uh, we made a pretty big case on why they're a huge benefit for you and for us. So, yes. So, in Nashville, I know I only have one minute, but I'm going longer. We're in Nashville. We have a talent on our hands, and she has volunteered to sing. So, I'm bringing Tina to the stage for a little singing right here. Tina! It's only going to be a little bit because we only have a few seconds. And there's a wild, wild whistle blowing in the wind. Falling out my name like a long, long friend. Oh, I miss those days as the years go by. Oh, nothing sweeter. Summertime and American honey. Woo! Take that, Ed O'Boyle, on to Philadelphia. Well... I don't know how to follow that up. I'm just saying. All right, folks, listen, this has been a lot of fun. I can't tell you how much uh, I, I've enjoyed being in a room with everybody here. The prestige partners we have here, awesome. We've stayed off of CNN because we've all worn our masks. We definitely don't want to be on Fox. Um, anyways, long story short, just want to thank everybody this evening. It's been a great, great time. Really appreciate us getting together. It's inspired me again. It's given us some, some uh, uh, juice to keep going forward and fight through this whole thing. Thank you very much. And now... Let's go north to Canada. Felix, bring us home. Maybe not. I can play Rocky again. Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> we're not sure if we're still on TV, but we're going there. Hello? Okay, uh, we're going to... Um, we're going to bring Felix back in that hot jacket in a few seconds here um, to say um, a good night from our friends in Toronto. I'd like to thank um, all of our partners with Lowe's who made this event possible. I'd also like to thank Global Gifting. The PSAV team has been phenomenal. I'd really like to thank you planners uh, and our partners for coming out and, and, and educating yourself and spending time with us and there's going to be glitches in certain things, but there's such huge value in bringing people together. And I just want to say thank you so much for coming, supporting our team, and being with us as we come back into meetings face-to-face. -face. I would be remiss if I didn't say a special thank you to our team at Prestige, I, you know, I pinch myself. I'm so lucky to work with super smart, dedicated, creative people. In Minneapolis, we have Peggy Wadman, Jennifer Summers, Kevin Blazer. In Chicago downtown, we have the lovely Kim Ludwig, Jimmy St. Peter. Here at O'Hare, I have Julie Malika, Inga Richter. <laughs> And somebody that really brought me a lot of confidence in this whole night was Sharon Anderson. Thank you so much, Sharon. In Kansas City, uh, we have Carolyn Sturbins. And also in Kansas City, we have the other owner of Prestige, our uh, Doug and my business partner, Mr. Chad Howman. Thank you, Chad, for being in Kansas City. In St. Louis, we have Robert, Bobby Bryce. Um, and uh, I, I know I hate to say this, but... Um, I don't, I mean, St. Louis is new, but um, Chicago hair was the hub. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, over in Nashville, um, we have Sean Zivich and um, Doug Peterson, uh, one of the other partners. And in Toronto with that hot jacket, we have um, Dorothy Martin and Tara Wiley. And so... Thank you all for coming tonight, and I'm going to send it back to uh, Felix and see what Jack, if he's got the same jacket or did he have to one-up Shane in Nashville. I'm going to turn it back over to Felix. Thank you, thank you. Shane, Shane, you missed my song that I was singing to the crowd uh, while we couldn't see me, so next time, the borders are still closed. Um, just wanted to thank everyone for trusting us during this challenging time. We truly appreciate your presence. Wanted to give a big shout out to our local AV provider, Epic Vision here, and to the Prestige team as well. Um, I wanted to take a few seconds just to, um, yeah, I actually have one last request for everyone, each of you today. Um, with so much happening in the world, you never know how small actions can impact the next person. Please be kind to one another. Practice compassion with everyone. Live with acceptance of yourself and others. And until I see you again around a glass of wine, please take care of yourself and your health. We'll now send you back to Jeff Cannon at Chicago O'Hare Hub for the final wrap up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Felix. Um, I also want to say thank you for all the planners that joined us virtually. Um, sadly for them, they don't get to experience a fabulous, amazing Lowe's room. And you all do. So um, thank you for coming tonight. Thanks for bringing a guest. Enjoy the room. And here's to the future of meetings. Thank you for being with us. Cheers. <laughs>